Okay, so this is Rally Road for the Nintendo Switch. It is basically um, pixel tra one of the pixel traffic games, the one where you drive in this exact voxel hellscape. But you got a little more control over your speed. I uh, kind of bought some cars in the wrong layout because I'm an idiot. Uh, and uh, this model apparently had a chicken added. There's also a couple of... Uh, Chickens you unlock as special cards. And yeah, like, they, there's these polygonal cars that don't fit anything. They added some flames to the explosions. And they changed the music and menu. But, it's the same goddamn game. I mean, I will give them some credit for actually changing the music and menu stuff, because the other knockoff of Pixel Traffic, whatever the futz, uh, didn't really bother with that. And, um... It was kind of obvious. I don't even know if I saved the video to that to my archives, because that's how disappointed I was. How disappointed their parents were. Kind of mean, sorry. And honestly, I kind of like this. The, the, like, the, you can use stick or D-pad on this. I'm liking this on the stick. It feels good. And having the customizable speed is really refreshing. You just want to rip through it and die a lot. And your speed is oh, 105. Okay, I, some of the, apparently some of the cars have higher max speed. The first car you get, they had a hundo, but you did work. Go to the car shop. Oh wait, I, okay. We we the lock is off of that, so let's go chicken mode. Oof. <coughs> <coughs> you can go no lower than 60 miles per hour. It's good to know. Apparently, the CPU cars can have accidents too. Hondo is max for chicken. Unless well, so maybe after you get enough distance, you can crank that up a bit. But yeah, having the adjustable speed is so nice. And I spent like 70 cents on this, thanks to uh, my Nintendo points. But uh, yeah, okay, we did those things. We have some money, we could probably buy a new car. Those were 500, right? Yeah, I want to see how weird the buggy looks against these other uh, options. Polygonal and like the default ones that come with this asset pack are voxel based. It's weak. Called. I want to make a quick buck. I have this asset pack, and then I have two with models that kind of. Oh, uh, what was the other thing we pointed out? Oh yeah, like. You'll notice the wheels on that one look really good. The ones look okay detail-wise, but don't spin. Part of how you can tell their stuff. What is this guy? This thing looks like it was up res even chittelier. Chittelier, that's a word. Um, from yet another asset pack, but I don't see anything else that matches its... Okay, I've had one that matches its mediocre quality. And also, there's a spaceship. That looks great, but who knows where the hell that came from. So, yeah. Uh, and this is, like, somewhere in between those two. Like, I don't know what's going on. Like, like I can tell you, the tanks were definitely the first ones that came. Or they're, they're, in the, uh, they're in the pixel traffic version of this. Which, honestly... I like the music from that one better. I'm glad they switched it for this, but I like it better. You know, these voxel ones came with this, this asset pack. And I'm just kind of curious where these other ones came from. But, also kind of curious as to why. I'm glad you put the effort in, Frando. But seriously, this has been, been done twice on PC already. 
and the pixel trap I got it right the first time. It's kind of obvious. He took somebody's homework and kind of tried to make it not look like theirs. Let's roll the riddle switch. Oh, we got to do the thing. We didn't do the thing. Car shop. We bought the thing, and I did the thing where I realized it was in the wrong layout, but we're going to do the thing. Why would Nagaba drive as the police? This is why. Fuck the police. As is tradition. And also, I do, I do really like the explosion of flame effects. But fuck the police. Okay. That was uh, Rally Road. Let's get the fuck out of here. Got one more game.